I have a hair right here just driving me insane. Hello there, chickadee. How you doing today? Thanks so much for joining us. We're Two Real Chicks. I'm Carla. I'm Cindy. And we're so excited because we are doing a super collab. It's not just a collab, but we've turned it into a tag as well. So be sure to stay tuned to the end to see who's tagged. And if you're not already subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button before you leave. We are collabing today with the amazing and beautiful Pen of Pen Smith Skincare. Is she awesome? She's very awesome. So very cool, very beautiful, very knowledgeable. She's an esthetician and she knows skincare and beauty inside and out quite literally. So we're very honored to be collaborating with you, Pen, And we are bringing you beauty products that stand the test of time. Wanna get started? Let's get started. Let's get started. I know you're not expecting this, but I'm gonna go with utter cream utterly smooth. This was developed about 40 years ago by a pharmacist to help cows move. To help the cows in extreme weather to not be chapped. On their udders. On their udders. It was udder cream. It used to be called bag balm. Bag balm. I don't know which is worse, bag balm or udder cream. It is a family owned business. It has been around for about 40 years. And Oprah actually featured this Ah, on her show at one time and it just kicked off. Everybody had to have some and they were going everywhere trying to find it. So thank you Oprah. I absolutely love this. It does feel rich, luxurious. It's inexpensive. I won't say cheap. This particular product is a hand cream so I just use it on my hand but they also come in a little tub that you can rub all over your body and it just softens softens your face it puts all, all this good stuff into you it's great stuff and it's inexpensive and it has stood the test of time 40 years good old neutrogena this has been around since the 1930s it is the number one dermatologist recommended skincare line and there's a reason for that and it has basically dominated the beauty industry since the 1960s i was first introduced to this as a very young girl through my own dermatologist i used to joke that the man had stock in it because every time i went to see him he's like neutrogena 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 the man used to keep bowls of it out in his office and you could just stick your hand in and grab big old handfuls of Neutrogena products. It is indeed the preferred product of dermatologists around the world. And it's so cool that something that was founded in the 1930s is still around. And if you ever wondered why it's in a clear container and why it's a clear product, it's because the developer of this wanted A, to show you that it was clearly different and B, to demonstrate that there was no gunky chemically stuff in there. So he wanted to show the clear difference in Neutrogena. And I remember when I was younger reading one of the fashion magazines and Linda Carter, Wonder Woman herself, was interviewed along with a bunch of other celebrities about their favorite beauty products. And many of the ladies were naming all of these fancy brands and all of these expensive treatments. And they came to Linda Carter and said, what's your beauty secret? And she said, honey, give me a bar of good old Neutrogena soap. And that stuck with me. And I figured, hey, if it's good enough for Linda Carter, it's definitely good enough for me. And look at her. She looks gorgeous. gorgeous. So if Linda says Neutrogena and my dermatologist says Neutrogena, I'm saying Neutrogena too. And to have been around since the 1930s, that definitely stands the test of time. I'm moving on to Palmer's. I do have the lip balm that I use religiously that I got at the Dollar Tree, by the way, just saying. This company has been in business for over 150 years. Is Say what? I see 150 years. It is the number one cocoa butter product in the world. Everybody all over the world uses it. Everybody. And it's been family owned since the mid 1900s. When something stays around for that long, there's a reason. And I love that these things are family started. Started by a family. And many of them have stayed in the family. 
I do use the cocoa buttercream, especially in the summer when I get really dry because you know I do like to be out in the sun. And my skin loves it. It absolutely, positively loves it. Do you use it? Cody Airspun Face Powder. This is one of the best selling powders in the world because it's one of the best setting powders in the world, period. It's been around since 1935. And if you go looking for it to buy it, you have to search in the nail care section of your store. For some reason, it's hidden away there. Yet women still find it. And the reason they keep finding it is because it's so good. And it's one of the few makeup products still left in the Cody line. I love this powder, especially the translucent version. I have used some of the colors as well. I don't really care as long as it's Cody. It is soft, it is buttery, it is smooth, it is finely milled. Feel that. How soft is that? Oh my that? God, I have never felt that before. Is that not beautifully soft on your skin? It feels you like silk. It is indeed very, very silky. You can use it on top of your makeup, but some ladies like to use it alone for kind of just a little light dusting of a little bit of coverage that looks very, very natural. And it is a beautiful powder. It is great for so many different skin types. I think that's one of the reasons for its staying power in the beauty industry. It works great for women with oily skin, for dry skin ladies. It works great for those of us too because it doesn't leave you cakey. It doesn't settle into fine lines. For those of us who are mature beauties, it doesn't accentuate any of our problems or fine lines or make our skin look dry. It's just a beautiful setting powder. I've been using this since I was a teenager. Periodically, I stop using it and I'll go try something more expensive or fancier. And then I come back to this every single time because it may be an oldie, but it's still a goodie. Next on the list, Ole. Ole, Ole. Ole, Ole. It started out as Oil of Ole as a spinoff on lanolin. Who knew? This was developed in Africa. Ooh, Africa. And it became oil of, and depending on what country you were, the ole changed to whatever they pronounced it in that country. Oil of ole has been around since 1952. It's older than me. I know, impossible to believe, but true. That's old. That's old. Marketing was unique because it was not marketed as a moisturizer. Huh. It was not marketed as a moisturizer. It was not marketed as a beauty product but it seemed to take off. It started out in a little glass jar, little pink lotion. Yes, I remember it, my grandmother used it. I loved it. It went from being oil of Olay to Olay, in which then they started adding multiple other products to reach every skin type, every problem that you may have. Every age. Every age, from the teenagers on up to beyond the mature. It has stood the test of time. Ole. If you want to do something for your hair that truly is a treat and give it a real treatment and make it shine and glisten and soft and smooth and silky, good old VO5 Original Hot Oil Treatment. This is another one that I will stray away from even for years at a time and then I go back to it and go, why did I stop using this? This is an amazing little tube. You just stick it in a glass of warm to hot water, let it heat up a little bit, put it on your hair, rinse it out, and for just a few dollars, you have a very luxurious feeling treatment that actually works. This is very interesting because it was created by a man named Alberto, which is why it was Alberto VO5 for many, many years. And do you know where the VO5 comes from? Where does the VO5 come from? He named it VO5 because all of his hair care products contained five vitamin oils. So VO5. This is one of my favorite products and frankly, I got to start using this more. Where have you been? I'm so sorry I left you. I've said it before and I'm going to say it again. I love me some ponds. This stuff has been around since the early 1900s. It was originally a healing cream used from an extract of witch hazel. Did you know that? I did not know that. The pharmacist that developed this had no idea what he was going to do in the future. He had no idea that women would, even today, still flock to buy Pons. This is the Pons Dry Skin Cream, which I use on my face a lot. And it became a commodity 
when all the celebrities responded to an ad campaign and went bonkers for it. So once the once the celebrities said, oh yeah, we must have it, so did America. I love the way it smells. I love the way it smells. Mm. I love the way it feels. Feel. Mm. It's very rich. Ooh. Very moisturizing. I love it. I can see why you love it. It's been around for a very long time. If you look at any of the mature ladies on YouTube who really know their stuff about skincare, they seem to share one common product, witch hazel. This particular one is Thayer's. It's been around since 1847. 1847, since before the Civil War. Now think about all of the beauty products, skincare products, and even medicinal products that have come and gone since 1847. That's more than 170 years. Yet this one still stands the test of time. And the reason for that is because it's good and it works and it's great for the skin. And so many people flock to it. And this is something my mother told me about when I was a young girl and she used it in the 1930s and 1940s herself. And I believe that she still does and she's 85 years old and she doesn't look it she has very few wrinkles now the cool thing about witch hazel particularly Thayer's is that if you have dry skin it's not going to over dry your skin if you have acne prone skin it's going to help that if you have oily skin it's going to help balance you out it's kind of a magic tonic that whatever your skincare need is, even a scrape or a cut, it's going to help treat that. It is a magic tonic. And if it's been around since 1847, I call that standing the test of time. Oh, Coco. Oh, Coco, we love you. Coco and her Chanel number five. There are a gazillion rumors about how this came to be. The fashion industry and the perfume industry did not meld. They were two separate industries and Coco wanted a perfume. Coco was a visionary. She wanted to combine the perfume and the fashion industry and she wanted that perfume to be part of her brand so that her fashion brand would be remembered. Who knew? So she sent out for a lot of samples. She you know, had a lot of different mixes made. And the one she chose was the fifth one. And she said, I'm going to name it number five because I always show my shows on the fifth month, the fifth day of any year. And five is my lucky number. And what women loved about this, they could get this perfume and get a whiff of wealth. I love Chanel number five. Chanel number five is synonymous with elegance, grace, and couture. Yes. All the things that we love. Mm. Thank you, Coco. This was first introduced in the 1980s at a hair show in Los Angeles when the inventor of it decided that he was going to demonstrate that you could spray it upside down and that would be really cool. This is Sebastian Shaper Spray. It's a mild hold spray that allows you to still kind of run your fingers through your hair a little bit. And the cool thing about Sebastian Shaper Spray is that it actually works on fine, thin hair like mine. Stick straight, baby fine hair that just lays flat and has no volume whatsoever. I can take this, I can kind of pull this up right here at the root, and it's gonna hold it. Ta-da! See these little curls here at the end? What I did was I just went, held them like that. Till they dry. No, not even until they dry. Oh. I just hold them. And I've actually had hairdressers not even use a curling iron or a wand on my hair. They've just taken this and their fingers and run it through. And it does indeed shape your hair while holding your hair and still leaving it touchable. It's been around for almost 35 years. It's going to keep being around because it's a good product. So Sebastian, thank you for creating your Shaper Spray. Those are our top products that stand the test of time and we're so excited to have collabed with Penn Smith Skincare and we can't wait to see what she's come up with. So be sure to head on over to her channel. You're going to love her as much as we do.
I'm excited to see what she comes up know, with. Because be cool. we didn't tell each other which products we were picking. So we have no idea. So make sure you head on over after this video to see which products she chose as hers that stand the test of time. Now, not only are we doing this as a collab, but we're doing it as a tag too. So Penn is going to tag some people and we are going to tag a special group of ladies. We're going to call these our UK lovelies. And the reason we're tagging them is because we want to see timeless beauty products from around the world. So to our UK lovelies, we tag you. Shaz from Blonde Tea Party. She is a doll and you're gonna love her. Check out her channel. Shaz, Blonde Tea Party, we tag you. Beauty Investigator UK, we tag you. Daphne C, tag, you're it. And Bella from Beauty on a Budget. Tag Bella, you're it. We wanna see all of your finds that stand the test of time. Do you have a favorite beauty product that's been around for forever and ever and ever? Tell us in the comments section below because we want to know. We want to know the secrets and give us a thumbs up too. Oh, and give us a thumbs up. Hit that thumbs up button and then hit that subscribe button. If that subscribe button is red, that means you are not subscribed. What? I know, right? How could you not subscribe? We do love our subscribers and we appreciate each and every one. Now next to that button, you will see a bell. Ding! And that bell will remind you every time we upload a new video. And we have lots of great things coming and you're not going to want to miss them because one of our goals this year is to make our channel the best it possibly can be for you. Thank you so much for spending time with us. It always makes our day that much more special when you keep us company. Until next time, we're Two Real Chicks. I'm Carla. I'm Cindy. We love you. Bye-bye. Bye. There you go. You got it. No. No, it looked bad.